Howdy friends. Guess what? We are, what, 11 days in to no meat? And guess what? You know, last time I said that, you know, we might just say, you know, forget the meat substitutes. We're just going to make veggie dishes. Well, I changed my mind. <laughs> so, what we've got going on today, let me show you a little bit of something here. We decided that we wanted some burgers. So we're going to go with a uh, California veggie burger. And then we found these. Beyond Meat, the Beyond Burger. Let me show you what these bad boys look like uncooked. I'm going to grill both of these. That slightly green colored patty right there is the Dr. Prager's California Veggie Burger. I'm not going to lie, once it's cooked, it looks like it won't be bad. But look at that Beyond Meat Burger. That looks like a beef patty. It's a quarter pound beef patty. I will say this, those are not cheap. That's six dollars right there, those two, from uh, Whole Foods in Huntsville, Alabama. Those were a little bit cheaper. I think there were four of those for like four ninety five, four fifty, something like that. So we're gonna, yeah, it's kind of like buying a burger. But we're gonna go put these on the grill. I'm gonna see how these turn out on the grill. I've never grilled a veggie burger before. These are supposed to grill like real meat, evidently. So. We'll see. Here we are in direct sunlight. That's a little bit more pink slimy looking than it looked inside where it's a little bit darker with a little bit less light cover. So a little less appetizing looking from here. I mean, it's probably still better for you than a chicken nugget though, right? Hmm. Maybe the grill's hot. Yeah, there's some meat coming off there. All right, let's get these bad boys on the grill. I have a feeling that these are going to cook a whole lot quicker. That's why I kind of brought them closer towards the front of the grill. Put those kind of in the middle. Uh, these are making juice, just like a real burger would. I don't know exactly how these are going to cook, so I'm kind of afraid to leave them alone. Uh, kind of scared. I want these to turn out okay. My first experience with these, and I really don't want to burn them because I'll feel bad if I do. <laughs> okay, one flip in. It did a nice little grilled char mark on it, but usually where the rest of this kind of browns with it, it stayed red. So it's going to be look a little bit different than a regular patty. And like I said, I thought these were going to cook pretty quick. They are going to cook very quickly. So these will be off a lot sooner than those will. All right, so the, I'm gonna call them green pea burgers. The green pea burgers are done. These are the uh, Dr. Prager's California veggie burgers. I'm pretty sure these guys are done. They're heated throughout. They got a nice little crispiness to them. Still a little mushy. These bad boys right here are about to come off. And I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty daggum good. And I know I need to clean my grill, so don't tell me. So, I'm gonna get these bad boys off the grill get them in some bun and and uh we're gonna eat them i guess you could say uh all american style we got bun i'll have pickle um i'm not gonna do lettuce tomato we'll do bun pickle i'll probably put some cheese on them just because hey why not uh we're vegetarian not vegan and pickle ketchup mayonnaise mustard pickles that'll be it that'll work cheese too okay all right, all right. grab these guys off take them inside Get them plated up, and we'll give them a taste test. See what we think. See you guys in a second. Excuse me, it's still working here. All right, Amy. You've seen them. You've seen okay. the burgers. You've kind of nibbled on both of them. Mm -hmm. What's your opinion? Uh, the green one, very much obviously not meat. It's green slice. Peas. It comes in like pieces. And then, and there's carrots on it too. Uh huh. And you can tell it. Okay. And the other one's actually bigger. What was your assessment? The. The Beyond Meat one? It's actually pretty good. You said it tasted kind of like. A, um, the bulk frozen patties you can get at, was it Sam's? That has yes. Those? Okay. That's fair. Alright. So. 
Plate it up. That's what these bad boys look like. Like I said, ketchup, pickles, burger, cheese, and there's mustard on the top side of the bun. That's the Dr. Prager's California veggie burger, and that's the Beyond Meat one. The Beyond Meat one just looks beefier. It looks, it just looks better. Let's do this. Straight up, head to head, taste test. Dr. Prager is first. Mainly because I think it's not going to be as good as the other one. Okay, all right, so we've had Burger King's veggie burger, and it's not good. I think it's a morning star patty, and I got some of those too. We'll try those later, but it, was like a brown it wasn't very good. This one, as far as veggie flavor goes, it's actually pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there, if it'll focus up, but there is a, get my head out of the way, there we go. You see that pea in there? There's obviously peas in it. And it's got a very strong pea taste. All right, let's go with the Beyond Beyond Meat Burger here. Like I said, it's a lot beefier. Holy crap! That's not meat. I would eat this even if I'm not trying to not eat meat. Look at that. I mean, I got it a little bit more well done than I usually get a burger just because I've never cooked these before. So it was a little bit of a trial for me. But, wow. That's good. That's really good. Uh, I got some uh, kibasas by Beyond Meat too. So, I'm kind of excited about that now. What do you think, Amy? Good? That's pretty daggum good. Beyond meat? Hey, I am a red meat eating, barbecue loving person from the south that really enjoys their red meat, their pork, their barbecue, and any other thing that generally walks on four legs that we eat, sometimes two legs, uh, chicken, um, or crawls in the sea, swims in the sea, flies crawls let's just say there's a lot of things that I will eat that were once living that aren't plants and that burger is pretty daggum good I am very impressed this makes me want to try like I've always heard of the impossible burger makes me really, really want to find one and try one now but I'm hungry because this is technically our lunch and supper today so you guys are enjoying this little journey with us and soon we will have more fun things to do out and about maybe some vacation stuff a little bit more florida coming soon but thanks for coming along with us today thanks for being on this adventure with me and i'll catch you guys on the next adventure